Hi guys and welcome back to another edition of Pink Bella Mia. This is Nancy and today I bring to you my very first mini ever in my whole entire life. Um, this was very exciting for me to do and as well as challenging. This one is for the um, Las Scrapping Señoritas and um, Scrappy Chicky is um, the one that hosted. So thank you for inviting me. Um, and this is my album, my mini album. Start with the cover. Um, all the pictures I just pretty much found on the internet um, by googling Dia de los Muertos. So, um, and just for information purposes, um, Silly Shy Sushi has a video up with um, a little summary of what Dia de los Muertos is. It's not Halloween. Um, a lot of people get that mistaken. Um, it's not like the Mexican Halloween. So if you guys just want to check her um, YouTube um, video out, it's pretty cool. Um, it goes back like 3,000 years ago and um, it has to do with like Catholicism and um, the Spaniards coming into Mexico and the natives. So just a little information all right so this is my cover and what I did I used my punch here and I put some what are these called sequins so I had done that and here with the charm I made this charm not sure if you could see that okay there we go so I just made this like charm with the moon and the sun and the skull and some fibers and whatnot in that little skeleton that I got at the dollar store. All right, so we'll go into the inside of the mini. I hope you guys like it. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the first page. What I did is just use paper bags for this mini, as you could see. And we had to come up with, I think, six to eight pages, but it was, like, really much up to us. I'm not sure how I got all these pages, but I did. And what I have here are a couple of images so you can see I love this one, how it looks. So I just matted that and um, this one's for Gloria Scraps, the number two. She's on YouTube and she has a couple videos, so go check her out. I hope you like it, Gloria. And this one too as well. I just matted this one and she has you know, room to um, journal or put a picture, whatever not she wants to do with it. And then this one, there's a pocket here and there's more journaling spots this one usually um they have this in mexico they usually do sugar skulls made of sugar and usually they put like the person that passed away there's like their name or if you want to put your name or something like that i'm not sure i wouldn't want to put my name on it but you know whatever floats your boat right so this one says dia de los muertos which is the day of the dead and i uh, um so this paper bag, so it has pockets. So this one's like the first insert. And I did another mat here. And you know, room for journaling, or she could even put like a picture here. And then there's another here, back here, that you know, she could put something in here too. So there's that. And then this one, I did a little, and I use mostly my Cricut because it's really hard to find. I mean, just to find things at the store, Dia de los Muertos, not happening. So, you know, just use what I had. Um, and again, another image. More room for journaling. I'll just leave them out here. Put them back later. Another insert. You know, journaling, what have you. And the little skeleton, I got this from the Cricut. Martha Stewart punch here. I love this punch. It's really cool. And then I used the... You know, the Michaels dollar stamps, the, um, sh um, no, this is a ca candelabra. And then I used also the Martha Stewart punch, um, drippy goo. And let's see, and then this one's another pocket here with another insert or image. The other Los Muertos, it's November, um, 2nd and November 1st, I think it's for the passing of babies, I believe. Yeah. And then this one. I just did a cross with a lot of butterflies, the Martha Stewart punch. 
and stuck them all together and did um, some just, um, I think they're hydrangeas. And just added some bling and some stickles and, you know, the Dia de los Muertos. Oh my goodness, let's see. And another insert. And this one says, um, I don't know, I just put this here and when I read it, it kind of makes sense. It says homecoming party. And then I just placed this here without even reading it. And look, they're dancing. <laughs> the little, um, the skeletons. And it says memories. So one as well. It's just pretty much a good ghost and some spiders. I think the, and then, oh, and this one here, she could put something on here. Like, she could insert something and write something here too as well. And then this one too. It says Dia de los Muertos with the skull here and some pumpkins. She could also write or put her pictures or whatever not, you know. There's another page here. And I'm so, and I, oh, these go in here, actually. I did this one and then this one for the journaling spots. Try to hurry here. And then this one as well. This is a picture here. She could put whatever she wants. And then these two journaling spots. It says Mi Alma, and then it says November 2nd, Mi Vida Loca, kind of proper, huh? <laughs> Traditions, it says family, and then this, this right here. Wow, can you hear the thunder? Oh my gosh, the thunder scared me so much while back, like a couple hours before I did this video. Oh my goodness, it was rain and big time pouring with big time <laughs> thunderstorm. It scared me so much. So, like, back to the mini. Then this one here also, um, this is pretty much how um, in some Mexican um, cities or provinces, it says field trip with all these proper again, I just put it on there. And let's see, and then this one here, and then there's more. the next stuff here. And then another journaling spot here with um, little ants, and I got this at a dollar, like a dollar, the, the, the 99 cents only, they're like little ants, but I thought, you know, they could go here, so it says, que sorpresa, I means what a surprise, so there's that, that one, and then there's one right here, it says, los locos, friends, and then there's journaling spot there, and then I like this one too as well, there's more journaling spots here, this one, it's like a little coffin. And it says Familia. There we go. And I guess just, you know, journaling spots or whatever she wants to do with that. A little bat here. And more journaling spots here. With, you know, skulls and very colorful. And, oh, I'll show you this one too. This one says Boo. I just put um, stickles and added this also to this. And this fence came also for my Cricut. I just glued the edges and put this in here. So, another journaling spot there. Gets and another journaling spot. This one comes out. And more space. This one. This is, um... The pick of the patch. This one's the My Pink Stampers um, stamps. They're so good. Love the quality of it. And then here, another journaling spot, another image, and just more space for journaling. And this one's just really simple. I didn't really put anything on there, but love this right here. It's so beautiful. I love it. Just with stickles to glamour, you know. And then this one as well. Another pocket. I try to do a lot of pockets here. You know, so they could, she could put whatever she wants there. And I think that's it. Those are all the pockets inside. And at the end, it has... These are so cute, I think. Dia de los Muertos. And it's like the little skulls. and They're so cute. I, I love it. And then um, at the end, I have like a little pocket. I just put some like extra images here if she wanted to put more, if she wanted to use or add more um, journaling spots. And that is all for me today. And hope you guys enjoyed my first mini ever. Thank you guys for um, watching and, you know, having time for me um, to, you know, 
for you guys to watch this. I hope you guys get some kind of creative or inspired by whatever creations I make. Thank you.